All right, picture this. You're stuck in bumper-to-bumper traffic, late for work, and suddenly the car next to you just lifts straight up into the sky and flies away. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, buckle up because that dream is about to become your reality. We're talking about a real flying car that you can actually buy and legally drive on normal roads today. Yeah, you heard that right. Not some concept car collecting dust in a showroom, not a billionaire's toy that never leaves the garage, but an actual street-legal flying car that's taking off right now. The ALF Model A isn't just another promise. It's the world's first flying car approved to drive on public roads and take off vertically. Imagine leaving your house, driving down the street like normal, and then when you hit traffic, you just press a button and boom, you're airborne, soaring over all those frustrated drivers below. And trust me, when that happens, every single person down there is going to be staring up at you with their jaws on the floor. This isn't science fiction anymore. This is real life, happening right now in 2025. But here's where it gets even crazier. This thing runs entirely on electricity, and the company claims it uses less energy than a Tesla. Yeah, less than a Tesla. How is that even possible? And more importantly, how much does this cost? Can regular people actually afford it? And the biggest question of all, is it actually safe to have cars flying over our heads? Stick around because what you're about to discover will blow your mind. For decades, flying cars have been nothing but broken promises. Hundreds of companies have tried and failed. Even Elon Musk teased the idea but never delivered. Most prototypes never made it past the parking lot demo and the few that did fly couldn't get legal approval because they were basically death traps waiting to happen. So yeah, when someone says flying car today, most people just roll their eyes. But the ALF Model A is different. This is the first one that actually meets safety standards and has permission to operate legally. And get this, they're already building more right now to ship to customers starting in 2026. ALF Aeronautics, based in San Mateo, California, has spent nearly 10 years perfecting this machine. Their whole mission is simple but ambitious, solve the nightmare of city traffic by taking transportation into the sky. And they've done it with zero gas, zero emissions, just pure electric power that's quieter and cleaner than anything on the road today. Now let's talk about what this beast actually looks like, because this is where things get wild. The ALF Model A looks like it flew straight out of a sci-fi movie. It's about the size of a big sedan but weighs only 850 pounds, which is insanely light for an electric vehicle. The secret? A carbon fiber mesh body that literally lets air flow through it. Yeah, through it. This design cuts down air resistance, keeps the weight low, and creates room for eight powerful rotors hidden inside the vehicle. You can't even see them from the outside. No exposed propellers, no dangerous spinning blades just a sleek futuristic body that looks safe enough to park next to a minivan. And here's the genius part. The cabin sits on a gimbal system, which means no matter how the car tilts or rotates during flight, you stay perfectly level inside. It's like sitting in a gyroscope. The whole thing is designed to move freely in three-dimensional space without making you feel like you're on a roller coaster. Plus, those big bubble-style windshields give you a crystal-clear view in every direction which is pretty important when you're flying through the air instead of just cruising down a highway. But the real magic happens when the Model A switches from vertical flight to forward flight. The entire body of the vehicle rotates 90 degrees. One side becomes the top wing, the other becomes the bottom wing. And just like that, you're zooming forward through the sky like a real aircraft. Think of it like this. Stretch your hand out flat, fingers forward. That's driving mode. Now rotate your hand so your thumb points up and your palm faces forward. That's flight mode. Simple, right? But incredibly effective. And before you think this thing is just a cool toy that can't really drive, think again. When it's on the road, the Model A uses four electric motors, one at each wheel, giving it four-wheel drive just like a regular electric car. It's got slim bicycle-style tires to keep the weight down, and can hit a top speed of about 25 miles per hour with a range of 200 miles. Okay, so it's not going to win any drag races, but for short city trips, it's perfect. And yes, it has all the normal safety stuff too. Responsive brakes, 
obstacle sensors, and a stability system to keep it smooth on bumpy roads. Now here's something important. Even though it can fly, you don't need some crazy pilot's license to operate it. Just a basic drone license. That's it. And it fits in regular parking spots, works with normal city infrastructure, and looks just normal enough that you won't get pulled over every five minutes. But let's be real, the magic isn't in the driving. It's in the flying. If you're enjoying this so far, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button right now. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next because we're about to show you this thing actually taking off. Earlier this year, ALF released a video that broke the internet. It showed the Model A driving down a normal street in California, and then, without any runway, it just lifted straight up into the air and hopped over another parked car. Another clip showed it hovering 20 to 30 feet above a Chevy Suburban, moving forward like some kind of alien spacecraft. At first, people thought it was fake, just another AI-generated clip. But nope. Alf confirmed it. This is the first real footage in history of a street-legal car taking off vertically from a public road. Other so-called flying cars have been caught faking their flights with tethers or camera tricks, but not this one. This is the real deal. So how does it actually work? When you're ready to fly, those eight hidden rotors fire up, four on each side, and generate enough lift to raise the entire vehicle straight up without a runway, without a helipad, without anything. Just pure vertical takeoff. And that's a game changer. Most aircraft need a long stretch of pavement to get airborne. The Model A needs about as much space as a parking spot. That means it can operate in crowded downtown areas where there's no room for traditional airports or landing zones. Once it's in the air, the Model A can hit a top speed of 110 miles per hour with a flight range of about 110 miles. So yeah, it's not going to fly you across the country, but it's perfect for short hops across the city or between nearby towns. One of the company's founders, Jim Duchovny, says this thing could cut your commute time in half just by flying over traffic instead of sitting in it. Imagine that. No more gridlock. No more road rage. Just smooth, open skies. But here's the big question everyone asks. Is it safe? ALF didn't mess around here. The Model A uses something called distributed electric propulsion, which means the power system is spread out across multiple components. So if one part fails, the others keep working. The vehicle has eight layers of backup systems and monitors thousands of data points in real time. It's got obstacle detection, automatic collision avoidance, a glide landing mode for emergencies, and even a full vehicle parachute that can deploy if something goes seriously wrong. Yeah, a parachute for the entire car. This isn't some garage hobby project. This is serious aerospace engineering. Now, there are some limitations. Right now, the payload capacity is about 200 pounds, which includes the passenger and any luggage. That's pretty light. The CEO admits that most early models are designed for single riders, but they're already working on a two-seat version that would double that capacity. Also, because it's classified as an ultralight aircraft, it doesn't need full FAA certification yet. But there are rules. You can only fly during the day, and you can't fly over crowded city centers. ALF has a special airworthiness certificate from the FAA for testing and they have to broadcast warnings to other aircraft whenever they're operating. Traditional planes always have priority, so if a helicopter or airplane shows up, the ALF has to get out of the way. Despite those restrictions, people are lining up to buy this thing. ALF opened pre-orders back in 2022, and so far over 3,300 people have put down deposits. You can reserve one for $150 refundable, or pay $1,500 to jump to the front of the line. The price? Around $300,000. Yeah, that's expensive, but compared to a private helicopter or small plane, it's actually not bad. And here's the kicker. ALF plans to start production later this year with the first deliveries happening in 2026. If they stick to that timeline, we could see real flying cars in the wild within months. But wait, there's more. The company is also working on a future model called the Model Z, powered by hydrogen fuel cells. 
This version would have a range of up to 400 miles and could carry four to six passengers. The projected price? Just $35,000. But don't get too excited. That model isn't expected until around 2035. Still, it shows that Alpha's thinking long term. They're not just making a cool gadget. They're building the future of transportation. Last year, ALF signed production agreements with major aerospace suppliers that work with Boeing and Airbus. That's huge. It means they're not messing around. They're scaling up, building real infrastructure, and getting ready to mass-produce these things. With airport agreements and early FAA approvals already in place, the path forward is clearer than ever. But let's be honest. Flying cars still face massive challenges. Safety is the big one. Even with all the tech, flying low over crowded cities is risky. Strong winds, bad weather, and sudden emergencies can make things dangerous fast. That's why manufacturers need to keep improving automated flight controls, collision avoidance, and emergency systems that react faster than any human could. Then there's the legal mess. Governments around the world will need to create entirely new laws for flying cars. New licensing rules, new insurance requirements, new airspace regulations just for low-altitude personal flights. It's going to take years to figure all that out. And let's not forget the cost. Right now, flying cars are toys for the wealthy. If they're ever going to become mainstream, prices need to drop and financing options need to open up so regular people can afford them. But ALF isn't the only one in this race. Another company making waves is Klein Vision with their air car. Based in Slovakia, Klein Vision built a vehicle that physically transforms from a car into a plane in just three minutes. It's got retractable wings that fold out when you're ready to fly. On the road, it drives like a normal car at up to 100 miles per hour. In the air, it flies like a real airplane at 170 miles per hour with a range of 370 miles. It can even reach altitudes of 8,200 feet. And switching between modes is dead simple. Just deploy the wings, fire up the propeller, and you're airborne. You need a driver's license for the road and a basic pilot license for the sky. That's it. The air car also has advanced collision detection, automated monitoring, and safety systems to keep you safe in both modes. It's a serious piece of engineering and proof that flying cars are coming from multiple directions. So here's my question for you. If you could own a flying car today, where would you go first? And do you really think we'll see these things filling the skies in the next 10 years? Drop your thoughts in the comments because I'm genuinely curious what you think. The future is happening fast, and whether we're ready or not, flying cars are about to change everything. Thanks for watching Tech Drive. If you love cutting-edge tech and want to see more mind-blowing innovations like this, smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe so you never miss an update. The future is closer than you think, and we're here to show you every step of the way. See you in the next one.